Hello Cancer! Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for December 2020. This is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides, I invite you now to come in and help me deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? for December 2020, Treasure Island, that one, all right, we'll keep it out, um, that fell out of my hand, so, new life, <laughs> okay, cancer, all right, well, let me just tell you that the readings have been really rough today, and I was considering stopping at Gemini, and I'm glad now that I continued, because so far, anyway, yours looks really good. Treasure Island is the best card in the deck. It's hitting the jackpot. See all that money sparkling out there in the ocean? Going, going with the flow. Time for a nap is about just taking a break from something or a pause from something. Hmm. You may have to wait for this money or something may be being held up. Because they're saying nothing you can do. You have to wait. Okay. Let's see. But you're starting a new life, Cancer. Very nice. All right. Show me Cancer messages for December 2020. Show me Cancer, please. For December 2020. I'm using the Light Seers Tarot today. Show me Cancer, please. And these cards are kind of new. They don't really fall out too well. So I think we'll take that one. Ace of Cups reversed. Unrequited love or the delay of a new beginning. Hmm. That's usually my sadness card or someone upset or crying. Show me Cancer, please. That is your energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Could be dealing with another water sign. But what I'm going to do... Okay, that one came out. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Cutting something out of your life and thinking very clearly about it. Becoming detached from something. I'm hearing cold as ice. Someone not expressing feelings or acting like they don't care. Show me cancer, please. Cancer, you're coming up as the queen of swords. <laughs> oh my goodness. The devil in reverse, sign of Capricorn, is being free from a controlling energy. In this particular deck, we have this devil controlling this person like a puppet. And when it's reversed, the strings fall off and you are free. So you're clearly cutting something out of your life that's making you unhappy. Free from the chains, free from a contract. Show me cancer, please for December. So that's your past. So it looks like this decision has already been made. Someone has hurt your feelings or made you unhappy. And Page of Wands and Temperance. So you have a message coming in about healing, compromising, being patient, also being patient. Let me get one more. This is Sagittarius. It's Capricorn. Did I say that? Give me one more for this temperance card, please. Show me. Thank you for Cups Rejection. It's Cancer Energy. So a message to heal something, rejection. I feel like you're saying no. <laughs> I just had this um, in, was it Taurus? Taurus. The Queen of Swords, I don't want to say that she's not patient, but swords move very quickly. So 
I'm, I don't know, I guess kind of shocked that the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords seems to be the one that wants to do the healing, but this person is very cold and you're rejecting it and saying no, not interested. Show me the future for Cancer, please. Show me the future for Cancer. Page of Cups. Hmm. Um, this reading is very similar to Gemini. Gemini had the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. You might be dealing with Gemini. Exciting news, spreading the news that there's healing or you're telling everyone that you're not interest, interested in healing this relationship. Page of Cups. Somebody's apologizing again or coming back with more messages. Show me Cancer, please. Now this isn't a love reading. It's kind of turning out that way, isn't it? I mean, this could be a career for someone. The Moon. Cancer, Pisces, energy, clarity. There's a lot of clarity here. I gave you, I just said I gave, I already tried to work this out. Two of Pentacles, balancing when comparing your options. Five of Pentacles, coming out of financial difficulty. Your money looks really good, Cancer, whatever this is. Eight of Wands, Reverse, Not Speaking, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. I kind of get the feeling that you're already in your new life. Because that Ace of Cups came out as the first card, even though it's reversed, you have a person here who you've had probably some type of disagreement. The Queen of Swords can be a little bit harsh. So... I feel like your feelings were hurt or you got upset by something that she said, or this person is upset that you cut them off. Whatever the situation was, the devil carded in reverse is being free from an unhealthy relationship. So whatever it was, it needed to happen. You needed to be free from this person. But we come into the present and we have a message about healing, but we have the four of cups. So I feel like this person, whoever you were free from back here, possibly because this person hurt your feelings, only because that would make some more sense to me because cancer is a very sensitive sign. But I feel like this person has reached out and tried to heal this with you. And I feel like you're not interested. The thing is, I do feel like this is going to be healed later because of the time for a nap because that's my um, card of a relationship that's on pause a relationship that's on break the five of pentacles in reverse tells me you know someone wants to come out from come in from the cold but the eight of wands is reverse underneath that so i feel like you're not moving forward with this person right now but either you or them this is your energy here is realizing now that they want to express feelings, something ended suddenly here. I feel like there was no closure or... Because the Two of Pentacles is your final outcome, which is a decision. It's balancing way and comparing your options about making a decision to heal something with someone who either you realize that you love or they're realizing that they want to express feelings to you. I'm also getting an invitation to a child's party, if that makes any sense to anyone. Um, so that makes me feel like this could be a family member that you just had some type of a disagreement with. But I feel like you're very happy without this person being in your life. But somebody misses you or you miss them, which is a strong possibility as well. Nine of Swords in reverse. See, you you don't have no more sleepless nights now, now that this person is gone. This person probably caused a lot of drama or a lot of chaos or they made you worry. 
but I'm getting an energy of, no, I'm not interested in healing this. I'll be patient and I'll wait until later when you realize this is realizing I want to heal, realizing I'm sorry, I love you, I want to express my feelings. And then that's just going to cause you to have to make a decision, I feel like. Let's get a couple of these situations card out and see if we can get a little more information. Show me messages for cancer, please, regarding this reading on the table. Okay. Threatened. Embarrassed appearances happiness wholeness overjoyed and smiling it's i keep getting this feeling that you are just so much better off without this person like i feel like you're happy you're free the devil in reverse to me is freedom like you used your sword and you cut somebody out and you're like oh i'm so happy i'm so free and that's why it seems like you're hesitant to heal this because now this person wants to come back and they want to talk to you and you're like oh, I, I don't know if i want to go back i don't know if i want to let you in my life again like i need to think about this i need to figure something out a lot of gemini energy I, that would be Gemini to me, family, blood ties, inner circle. It's a family member. That when this person comes back, like, it's just going to bring up a lot of, also this threatened, embarrassed appearances. I feel like this person threatens you in some way or threatens your happiness in some way. Like maybe they caused problems between you and your significant other and you're just in your new life and you, you just, it's like you just don't want them around. But I mean, I'm, I'm not getting any, the nine of swords in reverse could be feeling guilty. You feel guilty because maybe this person is just difficult to get along with and they don't have anybody else. Bottom of the deck is tuned in, internet connected. So someone must be sending you a lot of messages on, probably on Facebook or something like that. Somebody wants something to happen now and you're like, just maybe in the future, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. Or maybe they, they, they might be, you might be friends with them like on Facebook and they might be like commenting on your posts and things like that. And they're trying to be playful. It just seems like you're like torn about whether you want this person back into your life or not for some reason. Show me additional messages for cancer, please. Show me cancer. I just feel like you're at peace. You have the nine of cups upright. You have the happiness card. You got the page of cups, like you're realizing that you're happy without the devil. Lovers. There's, there's a third party here. This is somebody's, somebody's causing a problem in your relationship. Show me one more for cancer. Do I even have any threes? I got a two, a four. No. Huh. Show me cancer, please. Because occupation. All right, show me one more. Great fortune. You got some money coming in. Your finances look really good. You're negotiating with someone for more money at work. Let me look at this again. Two of Pentacles is negotiations. Realizing you want to negotiate because someone likes you. So you may, oh, so this is, this is a double offer. If this is work for someone, and this could be someone, a past employer, or you quit a job. Maybe you're not working at all right now. And now you have the opportunity to turn your finances around and go back to work because you're getting help. But this person came in, see, this is healing. But this message came in about compromise, right? And you rejected the compromise. 
you said, no, no, I'm not interested. I don't want to heal it. I, I don't want to compromise with you. I don't want to work it out. But then they came back with another message because they realized that they want to express additional feelings to you. And now you're in negotiations with this person. Is this court? I just heard, let the judge figure it out. Let the judge figure it out. Because this is about working together. Can we work together? Can we compromise? Someone could feel embarrassed or ashamed about the way that they treated you. I definitely feel like somebody wants to fix something here. But I just feel like at the end, we're, we're just in negotiations. Someone may owe you money. Five of Pentacles. Because you're getting money. Some way, shape, or form. All I'm going to say is this. Use your intuition. I, I don't know. This family card, hmm, kind of got me feeling like it's a family member. But if this is work... I feel like someone just wants to work on this relationship. And I feel like that's what the healing is. But this is, if this is actual work for someone, if you get the first offer and you reject it, be prepared for them to come back with a second offer in which you may decide to negotiate or they want to negotiate with you because someone's realizing that they now want to negotiate. After something was... You tried to work something out here, and then somebody said no. All right, I'm not going to keep repeating myself and harping on the same energy. What's on the bottom of the Kipper deck? Privileged lady. Hmm. I definitely feel like you got money. What else? Is that the tower? Nine of swords and the tower reversed. Somebody doesn't want the tower to fall or they're trying to rebuild the tower. Just pause. You're on pause with this person while you think about something or you're saying that you'll patiently wait. All right, I'm going to pull you a final message of advice for cancer, please. Angels, I'll take that one. Be generous of spirit, lion. So that would be it's probably something about carriage. I'm going to read it from the book if anybody's interested in that. I'm not going to pull any more cards. So if you don't want to hang out while I read something from the book, that's okay. Because I know a lot of people don't like it. All right. 37. Be generous of spirit. A healthy ego means you ease God's order instead of edging God out. Lion Spirit's appearance is a reminder that you have been given the gift of pride and a healthy sense of your worth to express your divine, authentic self in a unique way. You are both the king and the queen, secure in your prosperity and wisdom, and generous of spirit as you help others. Take pride in your ability to serve from the heart. Contentment with what you have right now allows you to use your resources wisely as you give to others in ways that educate, heal, inspire, and delight. Be proud yet humble. Practice gratitude and you will find that the accolades that come to you are no match for the joy of knowing what you have been able to do for others through expressing the bounty of generosity within you. Lion Spirit knows that there is great savanna before you and many who will benefit from the healthy expression of your unique set of gifts. If you choose to work in partnership with Spirit, all your relationships flourish as you express your worth and generosity of Spirit with humility and kindness. What a blessing you can be to all. So I definitely feel that you are more worthy of something. And that you should just hold out for this better offer or heal this later or take your time, move slowly, be patient, take a nap. Your great fortune is coming. You will hit the jackpot. And don't worry. Uh, nine of swords in reverse, you know, don't worry that 
they're not going to come back with another offer. I, I just feel like whatever this is, it is all going to work out in your favor. But you probably need the courage to reject someone. But like I always say, you know, it's going to resonate with everyone in a different way. Take the mes messages as they resonate with your situation. With that said, I'm going to leave that there. The 26th through the 30th of the month could be very significant for you. Thank you so much for watching, Cancer. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.